Mabuhai, Kamastakaiho, and welcome to another video. So it's time for another plant to get a repot. Here we have a Dickia brevifolia, the only Dickia I have in the collection. Like one of the Gasteria I repotted in the previous video, this plant was a gift from Lynn of Desert Plants of Avalon about three years ago. I'll put a picture up on screen again of what it looked like when Lynn sent it. So these plants are part of the Bromeliad family of plants, but unlike a lot of them, this one isn't monocarpic. So it won't die after flowering, which is good. Four or five offsets on this, which I want to remove and propagate as well. Now the main thing you might notice about this plant are those forward facing thorns. And yes, they are as sharp as they look. Not an easy plant to handle this one. But I'll definitely do a repot and a tidy up as well. Now this should hopefully come out of the pot nice and easy. There we go. I will loosen a lot of this old mix away from the roots. Even though it's in a gritty mix, it feels quite compacted. Similar roots on this to Warthia, just a bit more rigid. And the care for these isn't too dissimilar either. I pretty much care for this the same way as those. Even though it's a type of bromeliad, these actually prefer it on the drier side when it comes to watering. And like the Hawarthia, I found this to be more active with its growth during the cooler months, which is why it's getting a repot now. There we go, all cleaned up. Now just going to gently remove these offsets. Hopefully some roots come away with them, but it won't be a problem if they don't. These root up fairly quickly. A little bit of root on there. I will take all these off as well because it will be easier to remove all the dried up leaves on the mother plant. Ow. <laughs> yeah, the droid leaves are pretty spiky as well. Another offset. These leaves do come away pretty easy once you get a good grip on them. Start from the bottom ones actually, that's the best way of doing it. And the final offset. Now these leaves should just peel away. And once these are all off, the plant will look much tidier. cleaned up. And the same for the offsets as well, just remove any dried up leaves. Okay, the soil mix they're going into is the same as what I've been using recently for a lot of other plants. A mix of coca core, pumice, kiodama, and some worm castings in there as well. A larger pot for the mother plant to go in.
bit of Osmocot in there as well. Start filling. Now, like some Hawthia, the last time I repotted this, it did get a little grumpy afterwards. It took it a little while to settle in. So, as always, when it comes to repotting, I usually wait at least a week before watering the plant. With this one, though, I'll probably give it more like two weeks until I know it's fully settled in and isn't grumpy anymore. There we go, all done. Again, I would normally top dress the plant, but I'm all out of that at the moment. Pot up the offsets. This largest one can get a pot of its own. And like I said, once these settle in, they do root up pretty quickly. They're not the fastest growing plants, but not super slow either. Growth speed is similar to a lot of Hawthia. These two can get a pot together. And these ones can go in a pot together as well. Saves a bit of space. And there we go, all potted up. So there's a couple more repotting videos to come. The next one will be my big Allo Aristata, which will be the four year anniversary since that was last repotted. So stay tuned for that one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like and comment. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You'll be safe and well, and I shall see you next time. Salamat Bob Alam. Bye for now.